So, you know, what previously took astronomers like 10 years to survey survey our, our galaxy, we can now do in days, in days, with an AI accelerated version of it. CERN's using it to look at the proton, proton collisions that are occurring in our galaxy every day. And then there's SETI. So today, we're announcing that SETI is releasing their first real-time search for fast radio bursts. And you're probably saying, what are fast radio bursts? SETI's mission is dedicated for searching for life in the universe. You know, they use our Holoscan Edge platform, that third computer. They use that third computer to listen to signals from deep space. Fast radio bursts are one of those kinds of signals, but they happen so fast. They happen in fractions of a millisecond, fractions of a second. So the only way they, they know they happen is they go back to the stored telescope array data. They see it happen, but it's long gone. It's long gone. We have no idea really where it came from. And so the ability to spot these things in real time is really accelerating our ability to find the source, identify the source, analyze these frequencies. You can assume what these frequencies might be, but the amazing thing about them is not that there are radio frequencies coming from distant galaxies, that the energy coming from these distant galaxies are brighter than some of the galaxies in our universe. A fast radio burst of milliseconds is producing energy that's greater than the energy produced by some of our galaxies. So, really excited about that as a space guy. I'm excited about that. You might be saying, so what? But it's a massive application um, to help us understand not just about our planet, but what might be out there. What might be out there as we go beyond Mars, as we go beyond, or the moon, go beyond Mars and, and, and further go out. So, great work with SETI. Um, really happy to work with them and uh, continue the exploration of space.